view with it. There, Very that's good. Thank the view. Thank you. I was going to La- say London. London the London system, system Bishop Epworth, uh that's been a popular uh, of late, uh, especially with Grishuk, Vishy and Nand. As, uh, those two players really pop to mind yes. when I think about this London system for white and the world champion. Uh, using the delay, again, it's three seconds delay before the clock starts sticking G3. down. He, so he doesn't choose to repeat Grishuk. Uh, yes. But, and uh, this, uh, okay. Annoying move, Bishop b5. The idea is, of course, to maintain uh, dominance of an e5 b6 square. As well. Yes, and queen b6. Queen b6 with a hit uh, on the bishop, uh, developing with tempo. Of course, queen queen e2, most, prob- yeah, uh, most probably. Queen e2 is c4, c4 maybe. C4, perhaps. And then, right. Grab I'm thinking a4. a4. Nice. Yes. H6, H6, very quickly played. H6, what has Fabi got in mind there? Because uh, his only problem is his bishop on c8, right? That has to get back, yeah. get into the game. I was expecting a6. I'm thinking something along the lines, rook fd8, bishop d7, bishop e8, maybe rook I like, I like his knight e7, that's a traditional maneuver, so you can put your knight onto f5 and then maneuver it to the dream square. You know, uh, D6, D6 and, uh, the dream. And, uh, okay, so queen v1 idea, queen c2. You just don't want to end up can with you an get issue. Your, can you get your bishop trapped after? That's the issue if you that put you don't queen, want to. <laughs> <laughs> if you put queen v1, then well, I was thinking c, c4 might be. C4 with the idea of a, a4, a, a5. Yes, a6, a6. A5, a6. a5 yeah. anyway. In so general, yeah, but if I've, if, yeah. I like C4. An expansion yes. on the queen side would be nice, but unfortunately B4 runs into C4 and the yes. bishop is lost. So I'm thinking something along the lines of maybe queen B1, bishop E2, and then B4. Uh, but that looks a little bit slow. Mm. But mm-hmm. we, we still got, we, we do have the issue, don't we? We are, with if queen B1, queen C2, my original suggestions, might run a cropper because of C4. C4. And it's also the same with Queen E2, right? So yeah. C4 is an immediate threat. Yes. Right. So yes. we're thinking that White has to play the move C3, C4. I was, yes. Uh, and directly. Then, directly. And then, and if he goes A6, perhaps. Oh. A5. Or the Queen he was. He's touching that Queen. Okay. Yes. Queen, queen B3. B3. Okay. How does that prevent Guys, or impact C4? L- look at the time difference. Fabi has almost two minutes, uh, uh, it's almost two minutes ahead. Magnus. What? That's a big time advantage. Yes. That was a huge thing that uh, Magnus just went through with Queen D1 B3. So what's the what's uh, C4 Queen, Queen A3, A3 or Queen B4 hits the knight on E7. Black yeah, doesn't Queen, have the you chance can go to Queen track. B4, right? You yes. can go Queen B4 and then, A, and then A5. A5. Yeah. So uh, Fabi didn't have the chance to track the Aaron Bishop. Yes, Maurice? Uh, we just heard uh, Maurice commenting uh, how slow the players are. Yes. The, the pace has not been the blitz that we're used to seeing. A4, A5, saving the bishop for sure. Yes. Maybe menacing A6. I don't see it as a quote threat, but it, it's always I've nice. I've seen Magnus winning countless yeah. of, uh, of times this type of position. Perhaps now it's just time to you know, maneuver the knight f5 to d6, d6, to d6 and, get back. and get back. Or maybe or bishop, the usual program. But maybe I like bishop, bishop d7. d7. Yeah. I, again, a shit that you saw should do there. Uh, very important to say I adjust or you do uh, before making the move. Bishop e2, avoiding any trades of the yeah. light square bishop. All right, well, now it's time to either get with the b7, b6, or I like the re-maneuvering yes. that you've been mentioning, knight f5 to d6. While you're doing that as black, white's about to play knight e5. Yes. And knight g3, maybe? Oh. Knight g6. Knight g6. Avoiding knight e5. Knight e5, yes. <laughs> right. Now, unfortunately, the desirable bishop d3 once again runs into c5, c4, so Magnus first moved his queen. Uh, in order to menace the move bishop d3. Now the question is, e5, no. No. I take twice and take on c5. Yes. So that was a very good move by Magnus, stopping e6 
e5 when black would free his game. C4. Interesting, uh, interesting strategical. Ooh, I don't really like that decision. You have to C4. think twice. Yeah, I'm, I've always kind of, you have to think twice when you remove the tension in, in such a way. Exactly. Because you always have to think about undermining and freeing moves. So, for, so it would be. Ooh. ooh, a very big recapture just occurred. A, a knight takes b3. I was knight really expecting was queen takes b3, followed by c4, but. Uh, Fabi immediately shot back with knight e4, uh, uh, yeah, going after the c3 pawn. Now bishop c6, c4. anticipating c4 when the bishop on c6 will actually c6. look good yes. for we'll a change. A, yeah. c4. c4 anyway. Right. Yes, you're right. Takes. I was expecting knight c5, but c4. Rook takes c4. Rook takes c4. I mean, uh, setting yeah. up this pin, a little bit awkward, and does the undermining a6 that Fabi's got to deal with. The problem for Fabi is this queenside structure, specifically b7 yeah. and a, 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 uh, a7 are being cramped. Yes, he, he's uh, primed it up for an end game. So if, if black wanted to play a game, I know queen d8 has been played, but queen e7, I think it, the, so the end game would be quite good for white. What Indeed. about a6? a7, a6 is yeah. a natural undermining move. Yes. No question about it. I think it's and no. no. Oh, no. Light, no. Light came to see. A different approach. Uh, essentially, black has two good pieces: the knight on e4, the bishop on c6. Uh, good stra strategical chess is mm -hmm. just to trade off your opponent's good pieces. Knight c5 fits that bill. A6 was a little sharper, and I think I would have probably played a6 myself. Knight comes back to d6. Rook c2 keeping the options of doubling like either on the B or C. I also like the fact that in a, you know, somehow Fabiano has saddled himself with his knight on G6, this which is isn't, doing, isn't doing so no, much. This no. is not a pleasant for, position for Fabiano. No. Bishop D5, he's basically saying, I've, I've got an outpost, but after the move Bishop D3, to maintain yes. that outpost, you're going to have to play the ugly F5. Um, otherwise, E4 would come uh, very powerfully. So bishop d3, and now this is outmaneuvering the ant, uh, bishop he's d3 played. His opponent. b7, b6, and e4 instantly oh. after, ooh, things heating up suddenly here. Um, again, the time, I haven't paid too much attention to So what to if it. I take on c5, you take on d5, and then I go c4? Correct. Correct. Well, well I then I can, take, take, on on G6. G6. You can take on g6. Bishop g6, and then g6. it's a handshake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That would be v very bad news. Mm. But by the way, the speed of e4 was impressive. I was, and, and have you noticed the time difference as well? I have. I'm having it's a hard time now, reading. Well, uh, um, Fabi, Fabi is now on a uh, one minute 49, 44 and ticking, and uh, Magnus is on two minutes. Okay, so. Uh, um, the, the, the times have switched yes, a we, bit. Yeah. Well, oh, his, his, oh, his, oh yeah, you're looking down here. Yeah. I was looking. Yeah, no, I, I was can't also see looking at the screen. Okay, as well, okay. So. I see it now on uh, the other screen we no, have in our studio. This the is, is there chess, are no good moves. beautiful chess by Magnus, I think. Very, very. And we have had uh, captures, captures, multiple captures. And it's uh, tempting. Do you ruin the pawn structure by taking knight? Or do on you just, G6. Do you throw yes. that in first? or? Maybe it doesn't make sense. Well, I also like taking on with, C5 with, with the, the pawn. Oh, pawn or rook, yeah. Sorry, with the pawn, pawn. So that I can push my C pawn. Uh, that will be a breakaway uh, passer. Mm. I think I can get it as far as C7 before it gets into trouble. If I can put the pawn on C7 and the bishop on A6, that would be game over for that the world champion. That would, yeah. But how does it go? D takes C5, where? Knight D4. Knight e4. E4, yes. And he's taken with the pawn. He's pushed his c pawn c6. C6. as expected. And, uh, and perhaps he has to go queen, c queen, queen c7. Queen c7 oh. is an attempted blockade. But then, then maybe knight d4 or rook d1. Not the best, the best blockade. Blockader. But there's also. Oh, Magnus quickly played this. I thought he might put toss in a rook b1 to try to come to d7, but he wants. This is a dual purpose move. He wants to take on d5 and play queen and or play queen b7. That's getting nice, rid of it. Nice. Nice. Uh, Fabiano. Turning uh, the, the strategic advantages into something material, yes. Well, can we call this one a smoothie? We can. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so far, it's been it a smoothie. It is a smoothie. It's, it is a smoothie. And, uh, and rook d8 defending the wow. pawn. 
queen b7, rook c8, and the players are beginning to feel that time, the ticking of the clock. That move came quickly. Okay, Christian, looks really good for white. I mean, Fabiano's knight on g6 is horrendous. Right. It, it, it's just such an ugly piece, and you cannot improve it. That's the problem, because whenever you go to f8, I'm going to jump with the other knight, with my knight, to d4. And he has sacrificed the pawn. Queen takes c7, rook e8, bishop a6, maybe. Bishop a6. Maybe. Looks, uh, w it's a uh, pity that white's just vulnerable in the I'm first rank, because rook b5 would otherwise be a very tempting move. Uh, the first rank's just a little bit weak. So I, yes. I guess after bishop a6, his plan is knight d6. So that doesn't work yet. Queen b5. Queen b5. Dominating the queen. Obviously, you can't capture that because bishop, bishop, ta a, bishop, bishop takes, takes and, and then bishop, bishop a6, a6 is going to cost an exchange. But queen a3 allows Ooh, this right. very nice move. Queen Wait, takes knight c3? Three? What? And uh, we have a result. Uh, Wesley has uh, lost his game. <gasps> it's not yet over. Rook, Knight takes, C3. Rook takes c3 and then bishop takes g6. It's still okay, but you're going to lose your uh, pride Ooh. and joy, the c7. So, uh, yeah, Rook takes c3. This move has rocked the world champion, even though it's, it, okay, it's okay for white. It is Rook okay. Rook takes c3, queen takes three, c3, bishop takes g6. And then g6. bishop takes g6, and then queen okay, takes this. c7. But there's no question that when Magnus Rook took on d5, he, wasn't, he, he, has, had he, missed, had missed. he had missed you. You have to be tactically sharp. But, um, at all times At all blitz. times in blitz, yeah, yeah. definitely. And... Um, now, okay. uh, two pieces yeah, and uh, nice, 95. Nice. I'm forcibly reminded of the tie break in New York City between Magnus and Sergei, where he had just such a construction of two pieces mm -hmm. against what was going on on the oh. king side. I think he just blundered. Guys. No, I don't Rook, think so. Rook b8, what do you play now? Yes, yeah, no, this blundered. is the winning, this is a winning combination this for is, Magnus. Yes, yeah, and, uh,